What are some hidden benefits of becoming an electrical engineer that you might not have thought about? Besides having a great job, great pay, and a good career, what else is there? I was just talking to a junior member of my team who's debating about whether or not he should go and get his double E degree. He's got a two year right now, and I'm gonna share with you what I told him. First is that sense of accomplishment. When you actually go through this four year program, the, an electrical engineering degree is one of the hardest undergraduate programs, and it's not for everybody. Once you go through this and you complete it, that feeling of accomplishment is truly priceless. It'll give you so much more self-confidence. You've proven now to yourself to your friends, to your family, to your employers, to everybody else that you are a person who can buckle down, who can get through and do things, uh, do difficult things and come out on top. That is a, a wonderful feeling to have. And that just transfers over to every other part of your life too. You now know that you've done something really, really difficult that most people have not done or that maybe not everyone is even capable of doing, but you came through. That is a very powerful thing to have going forward into your life. Besides having that self-confidence of actually going through a program like this and, and accomplishing it, you will also have now respect from others. It could be somebody random that you've met if they ask you what you do and you say, I'm an electrical engineer. I'm not gonna lie, it's a good feeling. Uh, it is a good feeling. They take you with immediate respect. This, of course, makes you feel good. It makes you feel valued in the community or in your company or anybody else. So, heck, even talking to the opposite sex, other other factors like that you have immediate self-respect people will perceive you as intelligent as capable and somebody who is providing for a value to the community and to others and finally the third thing i told him is that really you might not use all of the math that you learned in school and that that's kind of a big cliche. Well, I did all this math. I'm only using 10% of the math that I that I've that I was able to learn. There's even a graph that I was uh, given, and it, it shows on the x-axis your level of education, and on the right axis on the uh, y-axis how much math that you've learned. And then when you jump into your career, it just turns into spreadsheets and calculations. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you might not use all of your math, but that's not the point of the engineering degree. It's to teach you how to think and solve problems and also apply that knowledge into whatever job it is that you're doing. And more importantly, once you accomplish this degree, you will be joining a fraternity of people that you now know what they've gone through. The fraternity of engineers, and you can go further in, the fraternity of electrical engineers. I know that if I'm interviewing somebody who might be a different generation of mine, either younger or older, and they have their double E, okay, I know what type of person this uh, he or she may be. I know what they've gone through. Um, heck, I know exactly what problems they've had to solve in their coursework. It gives me a sense of confidence, and now I know that this person has gone through, we've been through a similar struggle, and therefore it builds trust, immediate trust, and it's sort of just a head nod, you know? I, you know, real recognize real, if you will, right? You know when someone else has gone through your trials and tribulations and come through, and that fraternity of engineers is something priceless. Of course, it leads into networking and everything else that, that goes along with it. Hope you found this helpful for all those engineers out there who are watching this video. Let me know if there are other hidden benefits that I might have missed, but those are the three that came to mind, and I hope I gave my guy some good advice there. Leave me a comment and subscribe, and let me know what you thought. Thank you.